Hey crafters, Bernadette here. Well, it looks like finally summer has arrived and what better time than to make a shimmery, glimmery, light and airy acetate card like you see here. We're gonna use some tried and true techniques about applying glitter to cards and we're gonna have a lot of fun. So join me. Supplies we're gonna need, we're gonna start with just a single sheet of acetate. This is um, relatively thin and pliable, but it takes ink really well. It's copy quality acetate that I got in a pack from Home Depot. This is an 8 half, half by 11 sheet that we're going to cut down. Your embossing folder, two different sizes of uh, double sided tape. I like score tape. I'm using in the quarter and a half inch sizes. Um, glue pad, stays on pad, important for when you're stamping on acetate. Your stamps, stickers, and then I'm going to be using my Imaginus I Top Brad Maker just because that's lots of fun. So I'm going to also be using the punch from that. And we want some glitter card stock, as well as some scrap card stock, and last but not least, glue dots. I'm using the mini kind. That is all important when we're doing an acetate card. Go ahead and score your four and a quarter by eleven acetate in half at five and a half with a nice crisp edge. I take an anti-static rag to go over to keep the glitter in check. Then I'm going to go ahead and just emboss the front part of the card and run that through my Texture Boutique with the embossing folder. It makes a really nice texture. It might be hard to see on the video, but it plays out well with the linear lines of the glitter as well as the uh, punch that I'm going to use. Here I am using my score tape. Just two different sizes of any double stick tape will work. Uh, score tape is great and I'm just trimming down the edges for a nice clean look. Once you remove the backer, it's time for glitter. The nice thing about this technique is that once you've put your glitter down, go ahead and press it in so you get a really nice uh, hold on the front of your card. Looking good so far. There is the punch for my Imaginist Brad. Um, I'm using the 28 millimeter. I don't go into that. You can check out the website for more. But I just took um, a regular Brad head, put lots of glue for my glue pad on it, and it was time for glitter. I use an acrylic sealer just to make sure that the glitter doesn't spread. Well, I've punched out my um, varying uh, circles that I'm going to use. And here I am adhering the glue dots to the reverse side of the starburst punch with the brad in it. And I just take the um, glitter cardstock just to kind of give it a little bit of alignment and I press that down. And now the important technique is to, from the reverse side, add more glue dots. This is how you're going to adhere your glittery cardstock without anybody seeing the adhesive. I line it up press it down and I'm ready for the next step which is simply lining up the interior part of the card with the exterior so that you can get a nice fold over and it looks like it's just floating in air and you don't even see the back. Now I'm going ahead and putting more glue dots on the back to repeat the process and the next will be my glittery card stock which is right in front. I love the way it turned out. It looks kind of like it's floating in space uh, now I'm going to add my final touch embellishments, which are some uh, s glittery stickers. I put some uh, glossy accents on the back just because of all the glitter. I didn't want it to go anywhere. And of course, no glitter project is complete without stickles. So here you have it, the finished product. I love how it's just light and bright and airy. Your sentiments on the inside and then if you turn it over the back I actually like to stamp something personal on the back or you can write something there um, but it's just a fun little acetate with a glitter cardstock 